Hi, I'm Jack Davis and this is Painting with Photoshop. I've been teaching digital painting for over 25 years and this is the first time I've actually been able to create an entire title dedicated to these tricks, techniques, and Photoshop insights on how to imitate natural media. On day one, I cover why you're doing a digital painting to begin with, how you're going to extend that story by enhancing your images, and then we're going to jump right into starting off with how to create a pastel using one of the most simple techniques possible. But this is where we get our first access to the brushes palette and our preview to the brush down here. No line should cross two colors, so you should kind of keep it into the areas that you're working on. Before taking this course, I had a really difficult time painting with Photoshop and I had zero success. But now I've learned so many different ways to tackle the approach of digital painting that I, the tools are endless. On day two, we get into painting portraits. And with that, we're gonna get into the mixer brush. What came in with Photoshop CS5 from Adobe is this amazing new technology to imitate bristles, wet bristles on canvas. And with that, we're gonna be able to do personal, intimate, passionate portraits that are gonna allow you to offer things to your clients that you've never thought possible. It was wonderful working with Jack. He's got such a great sense of humor and nothing seemed to rattle him. He was just always able to answer every question and his knowledge and skill was just tremendous. As I press down, and if I press down hard, there's the deforming of that brush. If I press ever so lightly, you can see I'm just getting the tip of the brush, brush and then down. So it's actually is truly simulating 3D bristles in this environment. The biggest takeaway I had from this workshop is the power that Photoshop has when it comes to painting. And even though I know Photoshop, I didn't know how to paint with it, and now I do. Day three, we continue our examination of portraits with pet portraits. You'll be amazed at what you're going to be able to do to take your furry friend and document them for life in a beautiful piece of art. So whether you're a photographer that wants to add painting to the uh, offerings to your clients, or whether you're an existing fine artist that wants to add digital capabilities to your existing traditional media, this class is for you.